meteorologist TJ Springer. You really can't ask for a much better day in the heart of summer. Plenty of sunshine, seeing some clouds out there though at the moment, but it feels so much better compared to the end of last week. Here's our live look in the Red Rose City. In these fair weather cumulus clouds, no bite to these, just something you often see as warm air, ri or air rises, I should say, and hits that saturation level, and that forms clouds. It often happens on uh, fair weather days where we're not really expecting any moisture, and that's what we do have in play today. Did have a small shower chance earlier on today as the disturbance moved by to the east, and now we're going to have a reinforcing shot of some cooler, drier air. Super Doppler 8 really not showing too much, at least locally speaking, but as we zoom out, we can see some moisture off across upstate New York as the disturbance moves off to the east through New England, but really throughout the Mid-Atlantic and out toward the Ohio Valley, a really gorgeous day unfolding for this time of the year. We're expecting temperatures in the low to mid 80s, and because of us seeing this fair weather cumulus clouds, and they'll likely stick around through the early part of the evening, I did adjust and go partly sunny here for us today across the valley, but still a gorgeous day. We should see some of those clouds fade through the evening, but with this next disturbance moving in in the upper levels of the atmosphere, may see a spotty shower overnight with temperatures in the upper 50s to around the mid 60s. Then tomorrow, low to mid 80s once again, a beautiful day to feel refreshing out there once again, but still can't completely rule out a stray shower as this disturbance continues to work off to the east. Uh, middle 70s currently in Sealands Grove. We're at 79 in York, lower 80s in Gettysburg. It is 80 on the dot in Lancaster and in the capital city with dew point in the 50s. Feels downright pleasant out there. Refreshing air in control thanks to the cold front that moved through on Saturday night. And we stay comfy tomorrow into Wednesday, but Thursday is when we start to feel an uptick in that humidity ahead of our next storm system as we get more of a return flow from the south to southeast. That helps bring in more moisture into the atmosphere. Predictor does show the quiet conditions holding through the remainder of the day. The evening commute looks just fine. No issues through dinner time. If you want to maybe have a bite on the back deck or patio, then tonight we can see the temperatures falling with the help of that uh, clearing sky, but we still have that potential for a stray shower and that continues tomorrow as this disturbance continues to work off to the east, seeing some of those popping up in the heating of the day. Most of us won't see any rain at all, but we can completely take it off the table as that works off to the east. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures starting to rebound back into the middle 80s as we head through late in the week, watching out for a few storms later in the day on Thursday, Friday, a better chance as that cold front is moving in. So pretty unsettled to end the work week and it looks like some of that rain may linger into the first half of the weekend. Sunday is hot still humid and we stay humid in the next week with a chance of more showers and thunderstorms by late Monday into Tuesday, Matt. So nice to see 80s all the way around. Oh yeah, right? not so back nice. up in the 90s. <laughs> all right, we'll hold off on that.